Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the SMT. Thanks for tuning in to watch this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. Huge announcement coming out of T-Mobile, basically breaking news on a new technology innovation that I think is going to help a lot of people, and it's a tremendous accomplishment. Very excited about this, actually. T-Mobile has just announced multi-carrier aggregation within 5G NR bands, and they did so with the help of companies Ericsson, LG, and MediaTek. What was accomplished was a standalone 5G data session with NR or 5G carrier aggregation via a commercial device, the LG Velvet 5G. Why is this important? Why, are, why am I making a big stink about this and you know, being so excited about this? This is going to actually leverage both of T-Mobile's main modes of 5G connectivity simultaneously. The low band 600 megahertz utilized in the N71 band along with the 2.5 gigahertz N41 midband frequencies that the company utilizes. This is going to greatly improve and increase bandwidth, it's going to widen channel access across the carrier and thus increasing capacity speeds. So T-Mobile claims that this will boost speeds by up to 7.5 times. And these are really good achievements. We've got, you know, 5G NR carrier aggregation happening and a combination of their synergies, low and mid band spectrum holdings. Why Ericsson? Obviously you needed a vendor uh, to provide the software to do so. And why LG and MediaTek? It's the newest low band and mid band device leveraging MediaTek and its hardware. So the MediaTek Dimensity 1000C is the chipset that's going to drive this capability. Very cool feature, this is a very good accomplishment. Let's see when T-Mobile actually sends out the update for this uh, for this ability we'll see how it performs in the real world obviously the 2.5 gigahertz deployment is going to be a hot commodity for this it needs to hit the ground running 2.5 gigahertz right now very limited nationally let's see more devices actually get this feature as well i think it's probably more important for this to come to the qualcomm chipsets than mediatek obviously no offense but friends don't let friends mediatek and i also think that um you know not all lg velvets you know something that's important to know are going to have MediaTek Dimensity processors. In fact, pretty much just the T-Mobile variant has this chipset. So, you know, if you have a an LG Velvet that's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G variant, you're not gonna be able to leverage this technology. So now we kind of know why T-Mobile utilized the MediaTek chipset in this device and, you know, working with, you know, LG and MediaTek on this project. So now we have some answers to that. Tremendous technology. Tremendous innovation. I'm really excited about this. I'm actually more excited to see this happening with Qualcomm based chips because they are better chipsets in my opinion. And they're also more mainstreamed here in North America. Let's see what happens. What say you in the comment section below, the voice of the people, the SMT nation, drop me a line. Let me hear what you have to say on this technology. Thank you all for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video and found it informative, please do rate this video, give it a thumbs up, share it to all your favorite social media platforms. If you are new, first time here, consider subscribing, activate that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. And do check out some of the links in the description box. There's ways to donate. We have the link to the SMT Patreon page, the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech, where we also do Periscope Lives. And here are some other videos that I did hand select for you all to check out if you're not ready to leave the SMT YouTube channel just yet. Anyways, again, thank you for being here to watch. I am the SMT. Have a great rest of the day, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.